Let's get to it. Okay, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. All right, guys, I want to weigh in, give you my thoughts and opinions, and, of course, get your thoughts and opinions on the whole Sterling Treasure mystery bag debate that's going on Reddit, it's going on Twitter, it's going on YouTube, it's going on everywhere, basically. So I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions and get your thoughts and opinions. Please let me know in the comment section what your thoughts and opinions are. That's so redundant. Why can't I never do intros? Anyway, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. So you get these three times a week. I'm assuming it's going to be when you log in on Reset. One's going to be at your Postmaster, one you get from the Prison of Elders, and one you get from just playing one game of the Weekly Crucible game mode. Now, when you open up one of these packages, okay, you're guaranteed a piece of armor, and then you have possible items. The armor is going to be either the Desolute line, which is the Taken-themed gear, or the Spectre line of gear. Now, those pieces of gear are only light level 3, but you can infuse them, and it seems to be that they're going to have randomly rolled perks. Now, that's where it gets a little dicey, because technically you could throw money at the screen and just keep buying stuff and see if you get the gear with the perks you want. I don't think it's very likely, though, that people will be doing that. Now, from the possible items list, you can get class items, you can get a ship, you could get the chroma glows if you want to put on the armor and weapons, but then also you've got reputation boosters, one for Vanguard, one for Crucible, and one for Prison of Elders. Now, it also gets a little dicey there, because if you throw money at buying these things, you could technically get some of those reputation boosters and get gear faster. Because remember, uh, the main source of gear now is going to be from packages, okay? And they've increased all of the reputation gains from everything you do in your daily activities, whether it's strikes, crucible, patrol, and so forth. Because they are bringing back some year one favorites like Zombie Apocalypse, Shadow Price, LDR, Longbow Synthesis, stuff like that, okay? So now, this whole thing, is it technically buying power? I don't think so at all, guys. I mean, let's be honest. The way RNG is, do you really think someone is going to throw money at their screen and buy a boatload of these sterling treasures to try to get the perfect role for, like, PvP to give them more power? Or to get those faction boost? I mean, I keep saying faction um, in the outtakes. Reputation boosters to get more weapons from the packages? I don't think so, guys. I think people out there will throw money at their screen because they want the full Taken gear set. Oh, they want the full Spectre gear set? Yeah, that I see, but who cares? If they were throwing weapons into this, that you could get a guaranteed weapon or even possible weapons, then maybe I could kind of see it, but again, this stuff, guys, when it comes to gear with regards to rolls and perks and so forth, you're going to be getting them from packages. You're going to be getting them from engrams. You're going to be getting them from drops, okay? I really wouldn't put too much stock in this. It's not buying power. I think it's teetering. It's right on the border of heading in that direction, which is a little concerning. However, I think for this update, people are going to be more focused on trying to get gear from the Prison of Elders. Uh, I remember when we would take on Skolas, my Warlock and my Titan had full Fallen gear. Okay, so I had Agility, I had Super, I, whatever, a whole bunch of buffs on, my, on the left side of my screen when we would go into fight Skolas. Now, is it really going to make that much of a difference for the PvP folks? I mean, that you have, say, let's say you buy some Sterling Treasure, you get some of this gear, it's got uh, just awesome intellect discipline rolls or whatever you want in particular. It's going to make you better in PvP for your build. Is it really going to make a difference? I don't think so, personally. I'm going to generalize here and say that I think most of the PvP folks or who are really into PvP have a set of gear that they have spec'd out just for Crucible. I know for me, my Warlock, I've got the perfect setup, whether I want rockets, whether I want machine gun ammo, whether I want double sniper ammo on my chest piece or on my boots, I got it all. I really don't see myself spending money on these things just to try to get gear to give me benefits in the Crucible. I just don't see it. And for the casual players, I mean, you've got three places to get them every week. I wouldn't see people going crazy buying these things. I'm going to buy a bunch of these on day one just because it's fun. I'm going to do a huge kickoff stream on YouTube where I'm going to kick off the update. We're going to do the new strikes. I'm going to open up old Engrams. Hopefully, they'll give me new stuff. I don't think it's going to be high light level or anything, but just want to see if I can get some of the new year ones that are coming to year two and also that new exotic sniper that's coming to PSN. Now, just to wrap it up, I don't think it's buying power with regards to the armor and even for the uh, reputation boosters. I think it's teetering the line a little bit, but for the most part, with RNG in this game, uh, the only place I'd be concerned with buying power, a la Call of Duty, like we're Advanced Warfare, you could buy all these supply drops and hope you get this beast of a gun called the Obsidian Steed, which I think everyone was going crazy for. But I don't think it's anything like that, guys. I wouldn't worry too much about it. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section what you guys think of this. Is it bullshit? Do you guys think it is pay to win? Do you guys think that this is just going to be fun, just vanity stuff? Are you buying these things? Guys, let me know in the comment section. I rarely delete comments, okay? So I want to hear from you guys in the comments. That's it. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mace Run. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.